Hey everyone, I am doing exercise 8.2, fifth question, chapter is decimal of class 6 and this is based on the new syllabus. The question is express as kilogram using decimals. So we have to convert grams into kilograms. So the, all the questions here, here is in gram and we have to convert this into kilogram. Now before conversion, let us remember that in 1 kilo, that is in 1 kilogram or 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. So in 1 kilogram there are 1000 grams and when you are converting this kilogram into gram that is you are converting a higher unit to a smaller unit in that case you do a multiplication. When you are converting a smaller unit to a greater or the bigger unit you are converting gram to kilogram you have to divide and with what number you are going to divide? You are going to divide this by 1000 because 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so you are going to divide this by 1000. Similarly when you are converting a kilogram to gram you have to multiply, multiply with 100. So in this question we are converting a grams to a kilograms so we are going to divide here. We are converting a smaller unit to a higher unit so we have to just divide, divide this by 1000. So the first question is we have a 2 gram so this will be equal to 2 divided by 1000 kilogram kg. See I have written kg here because I have divided this by 1000. If you write this here gram then the value will change it is not same the answer is not equal equal here. So when you are converting when you are dividing this by 1000 so make sure that you change the unit here instead of gram you have to write down kilogram. Now this is equal to in your lower classes that is in your fourth or fifth class you have learned how to convert if you are dividing any number by 10,000 or 100 or 10,000 you have learned this in your decimal chapter in your lower classes how to write down like directly instead of dividing it we have a small trick that is you have to count number of zeros in the denominator you have three zeros in denominator right so you have to put decimal place directly just directly decimal place you have to put from the right side of the number and after how many numbers three numbers because there are three zeros so after three places we have to put decimal so two we have there's only one number so I'm going to use zeros here I'm going to put two zeros here so two zero zero put decimal point and then zero so zero point zero zero two kilo gram is the answer from the right side that is from here from the right to left you have to move when you place decimal point and there are three zeros so after three places you have to put decimal so I'm going to do all uh, the same thing for the rest of the question so you can see how I'm doing it for the next uh, question is it is a bit different you will understand how to do it so we have thousand grams so this is equal to, so not thousand we have hundred grams so hundred divided by thousand kilogram so again same thing we have a three zeros so after uh, three places we have to put decimal so it is zero then zero then one I'll put decimal point and then zero so 0 0.100 kg is the answer I hope it's clear when you place a decimal point start from the right side from the extreme end of the number after three places why three places because three zeros are there if you have a hundred then there are two zeros so after two places you have to put decimal point then the next question it is 3750 grams so this is equal to divide this so 3750 divided by 1000 kilogram so after three after three places so 0 057.3 so 3.750 kilograms then the next question now this question is a bit different than the uh, previous questions this is problem D we have 5 kg and 8 grams so convert only 8 gram so when you convert this this is like 5 kg plus 8 grams convert only the grams part so 5 kg now we will convert this 5 grams sorry 8 grams into a kilograms so divide this by 1000 so plus 8 divided by 1000 kilograms let me raise this question here so this is equal to so when you convert this it will be 5 kg plus is only one digit right so 8 then 0 then 0 put decimal point and then 0 so 0 0.008 kilogram now it's like 5 kg plus 0 0.008 kilogram or kg so just add them so it will be 5.0 point sorry 5.008 kg that's it the next question same thing how you did for this question the same thing you have to do for the next question so we have 
twenty six kg and fifty grams. So this is equal to twenty six kg plus fifty grams. So convert the grams into kilograms. So this is equal to twenty six kg plus fifty divided by thousand gram. So this is equal to twenty six kg plus when you convert it, it will be zero five. We want three digits, right? So zero five, then zero. You put decimal point, and here zero. So zero point zero five zero kg. So I have written grams here. It's kg. Now when you add this up, this is equal to twenty six point zero five zero kg. So that's it. I hope it's clear how to convert grams into kilograms. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.